Hey, so look at this then. So I've got a um, the demand screen showing here. And you can see this zone here, mum and dad, showing a demand of 1%. Now I know the conservatory is at 27%, but let's say the conservatory was at zero. That 1% demand would fire the boiler every now and then. Okay, and it would be the only zone showing 1%. Now, I reckon you can get it down to zero, but with still a little bit of demand showing. So I'll tell you what, let's go up to the bedroom and check the radiator valve and see what position it's at. And then we'll better see how much the radiator valve has to be open to trigger 1% demand. So here we are upstairs now. This is the radiator valve that we're showing the 1% demand. Now there's a, there's a secret menu in here. If you press and hold the button, wait for it to light up. Right, there we go, we're in the setup menu now. And you can use the dial at the top and scroll it along until you see uh, valve position 10. There we go. All right, so the 10 is the number of the menu and then the zero there is the value. So you press the button again and then it starts flashing. Turn the top and you can change the value between one and zero, okay? So one is on, zero is off. So basically what we're saying is if we put it to one, we're gonna turn on the valve position display. What it will do is it will show us the position of the valve for uh, a few seconds. We'll hit the button again. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's basically saying it's 31% open. The radio is not even, not even hot. Okay, so probably Although it's saying 31%, um, so it's tried to open the valve by 31%. It's pro probably it's still not actually enough to open the, um, the the actual physical valve itself. But that's enough to generate a 1% demand on the boiler. It's all a bit confusing because you've got the valve position itself. So this is basically saying that it's nearly a third open. Um, and you've also got the percentage demand on the boiler. And that's tr that's what triggers how frequently it fires. So if it was showing a 10% demand, the boiler would come on for 10% of the time. So out of every 10 minutes, it would be on for one minute. Okay, so you can see that by having it a demand of only 1%, the boiler is only going to fire very briefly. And with this valve position at this point, um, the water's not actually going to get into the radiator. So all it's going to do is just circle around the heating system and not actually get into any of the radiators. So it's a bit wasteful. Um, I'm sure they could have done things better, but that's just the way it is. Now this display will go off eventually, and it'll revert back to what it was showing before. On this screen here, you can see, I was checking the um, demand earlier and the mum and dad zone is now down to 0%, whereas earlier that was at 1%, and the conservatory dropped down to 23%. So it's always the highest figure that will de determine how frequently the boiler fires. So because there's a demand of 23%, that would typically mean the, the boiler would be firing, you know, around about one in four. So, you know, say for every eight minutes, it might fire for two minutes or something like that, or every 16 minutes, it might fire for four. I can't remember what sort of schedule it works on. But the zone I was interested in was mum and dad. And that's actually down to 0% now. So I'm just curious to see what the radiator valve itself valve position is set to now. I'm going to go up and just check that. So here's our radiator valve. If I want to check the, the position of the valve, so how far open it is, I can press and hold this button and get the setup menu. We'll give it a few, we'll just press it for a few seconds. There we go, and then it comes up. Now use the dial on the top to change the menu. You get various settings on here. And the one we're interested in is the valve position. So this is menu 10, and it's currently off. So that's, that's a zero. Um, now to change it, we need to change that to a one. So we press the button again, and it starts flashing. Turn the dial until it says one. That basically means it's now going to show us the valve position. Press the button again. There, there we go. We can see it's actually set to 15%. So that's interesting. So the valve's not anywhere near open enough to allow any water to pass. 
but it basically means the motor has opened up slightly, 15% um, of its travel. Um, so there is a very small demand there, but you saw downstairs, it was actually saying 0%. Now that display downstairs can't display fractions. So I think there is actually a, a very small percentage demand, which will cause the boiler to fire occasionally. So that could be the root cause of like what they call like ghost firing, where the boiler will fire, but none of the radiators will get hot. And it's not until the demand is completely satisfied on here and that goes down to zero, that the boiler will stop firing. It's just the way the system works. It'd be nice if you could tweak it. Um, maybe they'll do a firmware update or something to fix that. Now this display will go off by itself eventually. So we can just leave it here and it will revert back to its previous screen.